Hello there. Before we start the video let's know about Uptalk. Uptalk is a live, interactive platform for software training, furnishing robust personalities, who could take on universal business platforms. This tutorial video is about Workday Payroll. Workday Payroll is intended to work in tandem with Workday's Human Capital Management HCM, solution. This technology is a fully integrated payroll solution that expedites the payroll from initial hiring to final payroll processing and tax compliance. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel, and check out other videos related to the latest technologies on our Uptalk channel. This video will be covered by Mr. Kieran, who is a certified trainer in Workday Payroll. Let's get started. Okay. So as part of our first session, let's discuss a overview. We're not going into technical. Actually, Workday Payroll, as you're aware, we have two types of payroll. One is in-house payroll. Another one is external payroll. In-house payroll is nothing but we have all the data within Workday. To make it simple, we can run the payroll within Workday itself. And also send the tax data documents to the vendors or process the tax processors, generate the pay slips in Workday, and also um, uh, generate waste to documents in a tax related financial documents. Everything will be generated within Workday itself in no payroll. External payroll means external payroll means we are running the payroll with vendors outside of the vendor, which means I might have compensation and core HR data. A core HR data, but payroll will be processed with the ADP, paycheck, NGA, etc. Uh, BSI, our uh, SAP also, they're the, one of the tax processors. They do. They are also payroll vendors. All right. Is it simple? Payroll will be processed by the external vendors. Example, ADP, NGA, etc. Okay. Now, what payroll we're gonna learn here? We're gonna learn in-house payroll for US. And this is what they are still just adding one point. Workday has the ability to solve or send the data to the external vendors globally across all the countries. Across all the countries. Okay. One doubt, Kiran. Uh, only US payroll is in house payroll or any other countries uh, or also in house payrolls only. We'll come under in house. Salma, can you please repeat the question? No, uh, as per the uh, standard, only we can able to config uh, US payroll or we can config uh, international payroll in in-house payroll. Uh, in-house payroll, you can configure international. Here, no limit at all. Here, okay. no limit. You can create, configure n number of uh, countries. Just to give some example, let me do one thing. So, of course, we are going to discuss all these details. Don't worry. Just to clarify your question. So this is nothing but payroll area in SAP. For us, we will call it as pay group in one day. Okay. Now here you can see, you are able to see only four countries. Yes ma'am, Canada, France, UK, USA. Correct? Yes. Four countries only we are able to see. But when I select the user in payroll interface, you can see n number of countries, in fact, globally. Okay, here is a switch. So we are telling to the workday, hey, I am processing in-house payroll. 
in house payroll is available only for these four countries or i am crossing the payroll externally then we have to ensure we have select this check box why we have to select and we will discuss okay just to give an example globally also we can process the payroll with vendors uh, what is the main difference in in house payroll and external payroll in house right. payroll let me explain in house payroll means you have your employee data within one day you have your compensation data within one day you have your benefits data within one day and your process in the payroll also within one day i am not taking any help from vendors third party vendors okay okay external payroll means i have only compensation and coverture in one day omp a compensation in one day but payroll i don't have so i will take help from adp i will send my organization management personal administration compensation data to the adp so that they will process my payroll system okay if suppose yeah. if the vendor wants to run the payroll in work day can we able to do that no way man. vendor cannot run the payroll in work day cannot run the payroll in work day because that's why we have an agreement with the vendors they are they are supposed to uh, serve as a payroll processors for us if you are going with external okay so bsi okay. will will be in in house payroll only right for us bsi integration uh -huh. maybe no 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 as if you think about as a pp perspective bsi is in house but only we are sending tax data to process correct me for us sir for us yes yeah on top of that they are also vendors into the payroll right? yeah they are also the vendor yes. and that perspective i am saying that too. yeah maybe i have given the wrong example sorry for the confusion okay now before moving to that can you tell me so since we are talking about payroll what are all data we not we need in order to process the payroll what is the dependency on the data modules etc yes sir okay yeah so we need worker data just listing of for our since this session personal data because it has dependency age factors etc dependent details deduction of tax process we need compensation benefits time tracking all the data is required by the payroll system okay all the data is required by payroll system now let me make it or uh, let's narrow down little on this what is the mandatory data is required in order to process the payroll in work day we need personal data and time tracking or absence excellent we need worker data first personal data compensation data yes one of the advantage in uh, sap ma'am compensation though you have not implemented you have a t fat in table i hope i remember correctly i think T fat and yeah. we can just incorporate all the amounts, and then you create wage types. You run the payroll, okay? But work day, it is not that. Okay, so you must mandatory have to implement compensation, mandatory, because from here only it serves as wage types. It serves as wage types, uh, and send the data to the payroll system. Okay, so what are countries you have in house payroll in work day? we have us payroll we have uk payroll france and canada all these four countries you can run the payroll within one day itself no dependency on any other tools now one of the advantage if you learn us payroll advantage in work day you are able to implement payroll for all the four, all, all the remaining three countries it might be little surprise but that's true 
why because the task setup remains same now if you divide the payroll into two types gross pay net pay gross pay is quite common for all four countries there is no difference net pay only the taxation part is different remaining all are same remaining all are same there is no difference or change okay now what we are going to learn here is us settled what we are going to learn in us payroll is the first one payroll basic framework any question now before we are moving to discuss the definitions and examples of payroll basic framework yeah um, what i understood is uh, we can able to do without any extra vendors help we can able to configure the four payrolls that you country payrolls that you have mentioned in the screen correct and if we want to configure any other uh, countries means we need to take the help of the third party system which is the external payroll excellent true yeah. uh, that's what i understood <clears throat> yeah yes. that's true now let's start our overview of first chapter okay. the first chapter is 